All right, let me close this out. All right, what's up, JD Aliens? Oh, oh no, let me, <laughs> y'all can't be looking at my ashy feet because I know how y'all are. Y'all will always talk about a brother for having ashy feet. But look, I just wanted to stop by real quick and let you know about what I feel to be the most underrated headphones of 2020. And probably the most underrated uh, headphones by Sony, especially in 2020, and could possibly even be a better buy than the new uh, Sony XM1000 1, XM4s. But I'm done being in here, I'm done uh, doing the email thing, so let's go out here and let's talk about this. Let's do it. All right, let's get it on JD Aliens. And to you new guy, girl, who just showed up, welcome to JDL TV. I'm your host, Antoine, never trust to do without a full beard, Richardson. And today we're gonna be talking about the most underrated headphones of 2020 and the most underrated active noise cancellation headphones by Sony. Now let's just pretend that every 15 minutes, a new set of headphones is not coming out. And let's just pretend that like there are not a million other sets of headphones out there just inundating the market because it is okay everybody's competing against the next person and for whatever reason every company seems to have like 14 different sets of noise cancellation headphones is that even necessary i do not think so but here we are with these and i do believe that these got passed over drastically and it is a damn shame because these are awesome Okay, these are the Here On 3s. They came out a few months ago and I was waiting on these, man. I could not wait until these came out. But for some reason, when they first launched, they were really expensive. I'm thinking 200, maybe 250 at, at launch or at, at least retail price. I ended up finding these for $99 on eBay. And uh, they were used, but they were in perfect condition. And at the time of that video that I shot, so, you know, check around, I've done that video. But people were telling me that they were just walking right into uh, Costco and getting them for $99 or maybe $120 or something like that. Whatever, man, they're still worth the retail price. And here's why. A few days ago, uh, it was actually, I think it was about a week ago, I wanted to get some work done. And I wanted to come in here in my space to crunch down some emails. I had a slew of emails I, get, I had to get done. And I've been working on this place uh, for about a month and I just haven't been able to get down to them. So I decided to come here, have some peace and quiet, get it done. But there's been construction going on on this wall behind me and the adjacent wall as well. So there's a lot of noise. I decided to take a break away from my other headphones, the XM3s, the XM4s and the Soundcore headphones, all the other ones. And I pulled these out because as soon as I did the video, I just put them away and they were never talked about again by a lot of other channels. Like nobody talks about these headphones. So I put these on my head and I realized the quality, the comfort and everything right off the bat. And then I turned on the active noise cancellation because I just wanted silence while I went through those emails. And that's when it hit me. I can't hear nothing. <laughs> I mean, these guys were sawing on stuff, running drills, impact drills and talking, microwaves, music, everything. Couldn't hear none of that mess. And then I thought, you know, I, I, you know how I like my music. I love to get my jam on. Y'all know how I am. So once I decided to turn on some music, it was on like Donkey Kong, man. The sound quality is excellent with these headphones. They offer just about everything the XM3s and XM4s offer, you know, I'm not gonna go into all the codecs and stuff. I'm talking about for the average headphone consumer, okay? Not the guy who's gonna, you know, yeah, I'm not talking to you people. I'm talking about regular folks like me, okay? So as far as the sound quality, I'm not gonna really compare them to any other thing on the market except the other Sony headphones, which would be the uh, the XM3s and XM4s, and even the, uh, the 710Ns, I believe they are. Uh, they are better than the 710Ns and they are only not as good as the XM3s and XM4s because they do lack the sound VPT where you can have your virtual sound stages such as a, a concert arena or jazz hall or something like that. And for all y'all talking about, you can get that within, you know, other app settings like downloaded from the Play Store. No, they might offer it but it is nothing like Sony was offering, okay? So stop it with your madness. The Sony version of that 
is untouchable. Okay, so let's just put that to bed. Don't be in the comments talking about, I can go download that somewhere, you can't. Anyways, it doesn't have that in here, but they've got everything else. They've got the active noise cancellation that you can uh, toggle up and down depending on where, um, depending on how much you want. Uh, it even activates noise cancellation. Uh, you, it'll kind of automate itself. Like if you're in a quiet room, it'll loosen up the noise cancellation because you might not want so much. If you want to go outside, it'll automate itself to pick up all that noise out there and say, hey, this guy's on a bus. So let's put in some noise cancellation. The headphones do it for you. As far as the EQ, see, y'all hear the noise back there? They're doing their thing. And these headphones have kept me sane for the last couple of days, okay? But uh, as far as the active noise cancellation, it's all automated if you want it to be. They have the ambient sound where it pumps in the, uh, the outside surroundings if you want it. Oh, what else could I say about these headphones? If you like the XM3s, if you like the XM4s, you will absolutely love these headphones at a much, much cheaper price. And for what I feel, it is a uh, definitely a sportier, uh, more, more fun design. As far as comfort, they do not have the exact same memory foam and stuff as the uh, XM3s, but it's good enough. And I don't I didn't have any uh, fatigue after about four hours of crunching down emails. I didn't have any ear fatigue or anything like that. Now, I did manage to take a couple of phone calls with these things, and that is what made me decide to do another video on these, because y'all know I don't really bring back products and do a, and a dedicated video for them. But the call quality is what sent me over the edge, man. Uh, right now, you are hearing the audio quality from a phone call. Um, what I'm hearing on the inside right now is it's it's conversational man it's pumping in some ambient sound that way it makes the conversation feel a little bit more natural to you because you know when i every time i put on headphones or plug up my ears with regular earbuds i talk a little louder or maybe even a little different than i would because i'm i'm i feel like i'm yelling i feel like i'm underwater right now i don't feel like that that's why i can have this conversational tone with you and just talk as far as the other end i was talking to my homeboy and he never complained about anything. And then I asked him, I was like, dude, are you good with this phone call? And, you know, he he was like, what, what do you mean? I was like, I've, I've been on a headset this whole time. He had no clue. Ah, wow. <laughs> so as far as talking on the phone, Zoom conferences, I don't know about gaming and stuff like that. I just used it for, uh, I, did, I did actually do a video chat with it. And I, I've, I've done several phone calls, even outside in the parking lot with traffic and stuff going the, nobody complained about anything. So the phone call quality is super clutch. Then that sent me over the edge with these headphones. And I was like, man, the people need to hear about these bad boys again. The active noise cancellation is on point. It is it is duh, right there with the X and threes and fours. OK, so that means it is it is the best in the business It's part of the best in the business. OK, the sound quality is right there, man. The only thing they don't have that my favorite headphones actually do have is the sound BPT, those environments. But other than that, the bass is on point. The mid is on point. The, the treble is on point, And you have you can customize your EQ. Sony did it right with these headphones. I remember seeing the thumb or I remember making the thumbnail uh, for these headphones for my original video. I held them up and I said, this is how you do it, because it is. These bad boys are underrated and you can tell the world JDL said so. And I'll fight you in the streets if you say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, man, I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but I do know a good set of headphones and definitely a fantastic value. I think as far as value, man, I, I, I don't I think as far as value, I, I feel like uh, these these might just be a, a better value for 2020 than the XM4s, man. I know the XM4s do come with a few more features, right? But we're talking 350 bucks versus whatever these are costing right now, which is probably 100, 150, even 200. This, this is this is where it's at, man. This, this is it. Once again, I'm no expert, but I do know value. I'm gonna get out of here and go make some more videos and go on about my business for today. Just wanted to drop by, tell y'all about these underrated cans right here. But hey, while I'm gone, y'all make sure y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, 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 let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are.
Is this not why you are here? 